Hello, 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 my beloved souls. Blessed be, blessed day. So, so many, <laughs> so many messages have been channeled through um, recently. And I don't know if you guys have been feeling it. I'm sure you have been feeling it because although all the planets are direct and we would think that that's a really awesome thing, it's been like a what the fuck going on around here. Like, I don't even know what's happening in the world half the time. Um, this whole week has felt like a Mercury retrograde and Mercury doesn't go retrograde until April. So I don't know if Mercury got the message, but now is not your time. Um, communication issues, technology issues, banking institutions, um, fucked up sleep patterns, people from our past coming up. Like, And what I've been noticing, which is why I'm putting this on the Soul Sex channel, is that a lot of the people from our past that are coming back, we're having these like past lovers coming back, but they're not just coming back in our 3D reality. A lot of them are reaching out to us in the 5D. And that that is where it gets a little tricky. We have not just our exes coming back in the 5D, but like really because we had this 222 portal open up, which is all about partnerships and relationships and kind of duality. We've been having this energy come through like anyone that you kind of dealt with in the past that you may no longer be dealing with or it may have kind of ended in a weird way. That kind of energy is coming up and not necessarily their higher self um, reaching out but entities showing up as their higher self to kind of distract us and to throw us off path. And that's what I just want you guys to be mindful of, right? So what it was shown to me, and there's kind of like two big parts of this. Um, there are a lot of people in our lives that have showed up with very narcissistic behaviors, narcissistic patterns, right? And so these are the people that are going to kind of compliment you and insult you at the same time, right? They're like, oh, well, you know, like this person goes to, let's say they go to um, Harvard and they'll be like, oh, you know, this person is going to Harvard, you know, but, but they only got in because their parents have money, right? It's like they're giving you a compliment and insulting you and taking it away from you right in the same breath, right? And so they're cloaking it as loving, um, supportive compliments they're cloaking their insults as loving, supportive compliments. Literally, as soon as they big you up, they find a reason to pull you back down. So there's that big energy kind of coming in. Um, and they showed that to me with those of us that are really kind of like doing this work and kind of moving up the ascension pattern is that these people are kind of like gliding with us on the ascension pattern, but you're doing the heavy lifting. And so it was shown to me as like, moving up a mountain and you're moving up a mountain with all these people but you're the one carrying like two bags of laundry right you're the one carrying like this boulder you guys are all moving up at the same time seemingly but you're carrying all this weight with you and then when you reach this kind of like pivotal point right this kind of like plateau and you're able to kind of put your baggage down it not only lightens your load on like a you know a physical energetic sense but it's also helping you to see with a little bit more clarity because now you're not focused on what you're carrying, right? Now you're not focused on making sure that the bag doesn't drop or that the, you know, the handles don't break. Now you can kind of see things for what they are. And as quickly as you put that baggage down, right, as quickly as you up level to that next um, part of your ascension, those narcissistic people are going to be leaving your life. And on the other, not the other side of that, but another part of that is the people that are coming in cloaked as people you've had really deep relationships with. And in this sense, it's really more of an intimate thing. Um, if you're a female, right, a gender female, you know that our yoni holds the energy of all of our past lovers, right? And so unless you're consciously doing the work to kind of cleanse yourself of that energy, you still have these energetic attachments, right? I'm friends with a lot of my exes. I have no problem with that. I know that and at some point we were in a relationship together, that means at some point we found some type of camaraderie, right? And so just because it didn't work out for us in a relationship doesn't mean that we can't be, you know, friends or cordial or acquaintances. But what they were showing me is that these people or these entities cloaked as these people are coming into our life 
And whenever we kind of like acknowledge or kind of like want to rekindle or get distracted by what that energy used to bring to us, it takes us right back to our zero point and we have to kind of start again. Right. And so it's like you're moving forward, you're on your way, you're on your path, you're heading out to go do what you need to do. And then you'll see like a friend being like, hey, 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 hey. And you go instead of going straight like you were meant to, maybe you go to cross the street to go say hi to this friend. And instead of you actually getting to that friend, you go right back to your starting point. You go right back to your starting point. And so you need to be mindful of who is showing up in your dreams and why, right? Who's showing up in your now reality and why? Are these people from your past that you don't have a relationship with it anymore? Um, is Are there still really deep attachments energetically to your body because of your prior, you know, sexual experiences with these people? It took me a hot, hot minute, I want to say, to get rid of some of the energies of people that I've dealt with. Um, at one point, I just went on a hiatus for like two years and I didn't have any sexual contact with anyone. Like I was like, I didn't even want to hug. Like I was like, don't even give me a pound because I'll punch you in the face. Like that's how much. Don't touch me. You know, it was just like hands off. Um, and then my most uh, recent ex who that became like disgusting and toxic. So many lessons there. So grateful for the pattern. But a lot of that energy was. I will say deeply <laughs> embedded in my yoni, right? Um, I'm noticing that the people that are coming forward are people that had kind of a a larger and deeper um, connection with me, yoni-wise. I'm trying to be as PG as possible since I'm on YouTube. Um, so a yoni cleanse will work for some of you, you know? Um, for the, you know, for those of you that are gender males out there, like what can you do? And you can cleanse your area too. Like your balls can get a whole lot, can get a whole steam as well. Don't think that you're the exception to the rule, but being mindful of those people, being mindful of those situations, being mindful of the connections, right? Was your connection deep and long lasting because it was a heart centered thing or because it was a really passionate, intimate, sexual thing? you know, and we all get caught up on it. We all, listen, everybody knows that you've dealt with a psycho bitch for a little too long because that pussy was fucking phenomenal. And although she was crazy, you just wanted to, to get it. You know what I mean? We've all dealt with some toxic ass dick dude who was freaking crazy and low vibrational and was never going to treat you right. But hot damn, when he bent you over, you was feeling some kind of way, right? we been there, done that, fantastic. This is not about judgment. It's about awareness and moving on. So just knowing that these people are coming back or like I said, entities portraying to be them are coming back into our life to throw you off center right now. There's a lot of light codes that have come into this planet, right? In recent years, we really started in 2012 when it kind of like amplified and you know, we kind of turned up the energetic um, amps, I want to say. But with light, it's a dual universe comes the darkness, right? And so there's these darker, low vibrational energies that are really trying to hold on to their little bit of power for a little bit longer, right? They're just, they're just fighting to hold on and they're doing whatever they can. And so they're going to come to you potentially cloaked as, you know, a a quote unquote friend, you know, the, like I said, the friend that's bigging you up and insulting you in the same breath, right? The friend that's complimenting you and then dismissing your, um, your gifts, your talents, your accomplishments, right? In the same token, right? I know a lot of people like that friends and well, friends and family. Um, and then these former lovers as well, right? People that you had really passionate, deep, intimate connections with right coming back to throw you off center the distractions will be slight the distractions will be small the distractions will kind of come in like oh it's okay you don't need to do that right now or that can wait another half an hour or maybe you should go do something else or that's not really important right it's going to be a slight a slight a, it's it's a real quick sleight of hands right think of it like a magic trick 
right? It's like one minute the coin is there, the next minute it's not. You're just kind of like, you're in awe with the magic, not realizing that this person just stole your money because now, again, the money is gone, right? And so you guys are moving up and you're ascending and you're growing and you're evolving and you're expanding. And the more you do that, the more you remember your sovereignty, the more you step into your light, the more you are taking away from the darkness, right? For every person that activates their light on this planet, guess what? Darkness has nowhere to hide. You know, you can't make a room. You, you can't cut the sun off. You know what I mean? Like when you walk into a dark room, dark, it's no longer dark. It just, it is what it is, right? Like your light is there. You're lighting up that room. And so for every one of us that slightly cuts on our light, who remembers our sovereignty, who remembers that we're divine beings, who remembers that we're beacons of light, we're lighting that up across the globe. You know what I mean? And there is nowhere for the darkness to hide anymore, right? The things that have been hidden under the surface, in the shadows, under the couches, in the corners are now being exposed. And that is a problem for many people, right? Because now they're losing money. Now they're losing power. Now they're losing footing. Now they're losing their control over you, right? A person that can control their sexual desires, that can control their energy is a very powerful person. And I'm not here telling you not to go get your groove on because sex is one of my favorite things in the entire world. I'm telling you to be mindful of the people that you're energetically connecting to because for some of you, they're being sent to you as a distraction, as a distraction to take away your power, to take away your gifts, to distract you from your purpose at this time, to distract you from your abundance, right? Some of you are broke just because you're literally sleeping with people that are draining your energy and keeping you from your abundance. You know what I mean? Like abuse comes in a, a, a myriad of forms. So just being very, very mindful of that. Um, and knowing that your team of light is here helping you to reset, right? It might seem like you're going through these cycles over and over again. And you're kind of like tight, like, why do I keep going through this? Why am I experiencing this? Why am I dating the same type of person? It's like, I keep dating assholes. Or I keep dating these psycho bitches, right? Because there's some part of that lesson that you haven't learned yet. And so you keep being taken back to zero to the starting point because they're like, we want you to do this, right? Like get on path, let's get going. There's nothing wrong. Listen, every day you wake up, you have a chance to start over. It's a gift. It's a gift. It's a gift. But guess what? At some point, you're going to get tired of the hamster wheel, or I hope that you do, at least anyway, this like that. So that came through so strongly for me, <laughs> so strongly for me. I couldn't sleep at all last night because I was thinking about this message for you guys. So I'm going to pull a card for the Divine Masculine. So I'm going to pull a card for the Divine Feminine. And we'll see what other energy wants to come out. So thank you, angels. Thank you, guys. For these messages. What are the divine masculines need to know about all these energies that are going on right now? Wolf, guardian. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You're a safe, guarded, and protected at all times. You need to know that no matter what's going on, like I said, your team of light is why you keep going back to the starting point. You may get frustrated and think that like you're being punished or you just don't get it or your life sucks, but it's not. This is your guardian angels, your spirit team, your spirit animals coming through and being like, no, we're taking you away from that. Don't get distracted by the magic trick. Fuck the smoke and mirrors. It's time for you to see the reality of the people that are around you, the people that you've been connected with, and to move forward for this. These things are being revealed to you for a reason. And a lot of you, I know this is coming to you in dream state, right? So really tap into your dreams. I always tell you guys to journal, right? I always tell you guys to journal. I, I just am telling you it's imperative. Like, write this shit down so you can move on once and for all, okay? And otter, surrender, wow, let go of control. Trust the process, okay? Trust the process. Trust the guidance. Trust your inner guidance, Really let go and let God, you know, and we know that's been like a catchphrase in recent years, but this is really about giving it to the most high and being like, you know what, I know you got it and moving on. It's like a kid on Christmas, you know, a kid puts what they want on a Christmas list to Santa and then they move on with their life. They know they're going to get it. They're not sitting here stressing and doing all these manifestation techniques and lighting candles. They, they wrote it down. They sent the letter to Santa. They're moving on. This is the kind of surrender that you need to have to your process, right? What are you putting out to the universe and trust that you're going to receive it and get excited about it, right? Get excited about your healing, get excited about your growth, get excited about your ascension, get excited about the things that you're growing through at this time. 
because they're here for a reason. Okay, bottom of the deck, what do we got? Salmon, wild determination. You know where you're going and you will get there. You will get there. You see how the salmons are always swimming upstream and sometimes they don't make it. Most of the time they don't make it the first jump. Right? They got to go back and try again. They got to go back and try again. That's that same energy. Sometimes you just got to go back and try again. And you got to go a little harder. Right? And you got to put a little bit more oomph into it. Right? So that you can get to the next step. And there's nothing wrong with that, my beautiful divine masculines. There's nothing wrong with that. So this is just about you just really moving forward. And again, not being distracted by the magic tricks. Right? Not being distracted by these entities that are coming in. Um... And distracting you, you know, with sexual energy, with intimacy, with false promises of love, whatever that might be. All right? For the beautiful divine feminines, angels and guys, what do they need to know? What do they need to see? Energy. Oh, shit. First of all, <laughs> first of all, the baddest bitch. Lilith, the first woman came through. If it don't get real in this, I don't know what does. I am the voice of my body and soul. I choose the life that I desire to live. Lilith walked out of Eden because Adam was on some bullshit. Imagine you're in the Garden of Eden, right? Just you, your boo, and God. And your boo done lost his mind. And he was like, basically, you're less than me. And Edith, Lilith was like do you realize that we were made at the same time like i am your equal like i'm not with it and she literally left eden to go with archangel i think samuel but she was like i'm not having it like you're not going to be controlling me you're not going to make me feel less than right that same thing that same narcissistic energy let me find out adam was the first narcissist i can't i can't it's too funny all right white buffalo calf woman this is an energy of abundance i told you for some of you you're broke because of these relationships and intimate encounters that you've had that have been draining your energy. They have been siphoning your energy, right? Like helping you to row the boat while drilling holes at the same time, all right? The prophetess of the sacred way. My heart is a compass. The path of love is true abundance. So you really need to focus on self-love, my beautiful divine feminines, right? Self-love is the best love. I tell you guys that all the time. You cannot give to somebody what you do not have. You have to remember that you're worthy, that you're deserving, that you are a complete entity of pure divine love, right? You are the flesh and blood embodiment of love, divine love, right? And it's when you remember that, remember that you are love, remember that you're worthy, remember that you're better than some of the choices that you made. Remember that those relationships ended for a fucking reason and it's time to move on, right? Take the lessons that you got from those relationships and move yourself forward, right? It's time to move the compass, move the, the marker, okay? And then we have Adamai Ma, the joy permeated mother. I am my own guru, okay? I know the self that never changes. Everything that you need is within you, my beautiful divine feminines. Each and everything that you need lies within you, right? Yes, there are spiritual teachers and guides and and leaders out here, right? We all are out here speaking the word and trying to be a guide in life just to have you remember. We're not here to teach you anything you don't already know. We are here as activators to just help you remember that in which you know to cut the lights back on within yourself so that you can go out here shining as bright as possible, right? And joy is one of the most high vibrational energies that you can have. So really remember to embody joy. How can you bring joy into your world? And it's not an external thing. You can't get it from somebody else, right? Joy is comes from within. The Lord gives it to you, right? That's something that you activate within. Nobody else can give it to you. Nobody can take it away from you. It is your choice. So how are you going to move forward with it, okay? All right, any final messages? We're going to pull from the sex to go for this one because the sexual energy is really potent right now. Um, and it's gotten a lot of you off path. And I get it, you know, trust me, I get it. I was in a relationship with several interesting entities for too long. Dick was amazing, orgasms were fantastic, but they ain't shit. So, less than fun. I'm just gonna pull three messages. Well, maybe one. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, one message came through. I find that amazing. Queen of Pentacles. Okay. 
So again, we have this feminine energy remembering her own worth, right? Looking in the mirror, remembering her worth, seeing her own innate power. We have the masculine here kind of kissing her feet. So I feel like there's two messages here. One honor yourself as a divine feminine right know your work know your power know your um just know who and whose you are right as a really sovereign being for the divine masculine don't allow yourself to feel like you're less than anyone okay don't allow yourself you know you want to kiss and worship someone's feet but why and for both of you, don't be distracted by someone who's coming in pretending that they are humbling themselves for you when in actuality, it is once again, just a distraction, right? He is at her feet, right? Kind of focused there, but she has her eyes where on herself, on the prize, remembering to stay focused, right? So just remember to stay focused. I cannot say that enough. Remember to stay focused at this time, okay? And then, wow, bottom of the deck. We have the Ace of Wands. So this is a beautiful energy of what real intimacy is like, right? You see they're here side by side, both naked, both vulnerable, but both connected, right? One's not under or above the other. They're lying next to each other. So this is true intimacy. This is true connection. This is about way more than penetration. And for many of you, your divine counterparts are trying to come in, as you can see from like the twins this is giving me like a twin flame vibe, that couple on the fire, right? So for many of you, this energy that you're healing with these former like, you know, partners that are coming in or these entities, like I said, cultist as partners, is because it's preparing you for your divine counterparts. So for some of you, you need to heal this energy of distraction and lack of self-worth and, you know, um, like I said, it's like, the fucking magic trick, the smoke and mirror. You need to heal that energy so that you can be open and receptive to this divine counterpart that's coming in for you. A lot of you are going to be meeting your divine counterparts, but you may not be ready for that if you are too distracted. Okay, so you need to be on point. You need to be focused. You need to have a clear mind. You need to be willing to let go of the past. So appreciate the lessons, like I said, that they brought to you, but they brought them to you for a reason, right? What did you learn in those situations so that you can move forward, so that you can be open to this real, intimate, love, joyous relationship, right? Where it's equal, right? It's an equal give and take. It's not codependent. It's not self-absorbed. It's not narcissistic. It's not toxic. It's not um, focused, you know, based on money. It's not based on, you know, uh, just, just neediness. It's pure divine love, right? Like I'm in my power, you're in your power. And then together we're causing a motherfucking nuclear bomb over here, right? Of love, exploding on this planet and just helping to raise the vibration of the planet that's where we're at all right anyway i'm gonna leave it there sorry that message was just like ah, it has to come out but i love you god loves you angels surround you and i will see you soon my beloveds